Lonnie Holly is an artist, an art educator, and a musician. He was born in 1950 in Birmingham, Alabama. During this time, there were Jim Crow laws, which were laws that legally segregated people based on race. From an early age, Lonnie Holly started working. He would pick up trash at drive-in movie theaters, wash dishes, cook, dig graves, and pick cotton. Holly began his artistic life in 1979 by carving tombstones for his sister's two children who died in a house fire. He used blocks of found soft sandstone-like material. This inspired Holly to create, and so he made more sandstone sculptures. He started making paintings and making recycled found object sculptures, so sculptures made from things that he found that had been discarded. His yard and adjacent abandoned lots near his home became an immersive art environment that was celebrated by visitors from the art world. In addition to being a sculptor, a painter, a builder, an all-around artist, Lonnie Holly is also a musician. Like his art, Lonnie takes influence with his music from a lot of different places. And so the result is sort of this really awesome experimental sound. I'm going to post two video projects inspired by Lonnie Holly, but before you watch either of those, I ask that you please watch the two video links that I've attached to this video description, where Lonnie Holly himself shows you how to make a sandstone sculpture, as well as a found object assemblage sculpture, meaning something you make or put together out of materials that you found. Third link is to the song Looking for All, All Rendered Truth by Lonnie Holly from his album Just Before Music. I encourage you to listen to that song too.